Hey guys, we're back here with another Robin Hood gear channel review. Uh, today we're going to mix it up a little bit and go to one of my favorite things we have here. Uh, it's not going to be a pen today. It's going to be a flashlight. Uh, I'm not sponsored or anything, so these are all lights I just buy because they look interesting to me and to try them out. And uh, I'm uh, really enjoy carrying a Olight. Uh, so far, uh, I've tried all brands, and I think all the the main Chinese brands are producing a pretty good lights for EDC carry. Uh, you got Olight and Through Night, and of course uh, Phoenix, who kind of started the craze, and uh, you know Claris, and there's 20, 30 brands. Easy, you can name off uh, whoever's your favorite manufacturer. I kind of jump around to who I'm liking in a different moment in time. But uh, the pen here is just for reference. Uh, this light today is going to be a Baton 2. Uh, I don't know. Well, I never did do a review on the 1, but we'll bring it in. This is the 1. I've been carrying that uh, for quite a while. I uh, don't know when. I've been carrying a CR123 light now for, uh, I would say... Uh, over 10 years and I've carried different ones I've lost more than I would care to admit uh, to everybody listening out there uh, but the one for the last uh, least a year has been this S1 uh, so we got the Baton 2 this is Baton 1 you know it's a pretty good light uh, I don't know if they offer it in warm I'm a big fan of warm. Uh, not many manufacturers seem to be doing an optional warm that I can find. Uh, shout out to Through Knot, who seems to still be offering warm tents, uh, if that's your thing. Uh, at least it's available. Uh, and then one of the other few ones that offers a warm that I found in this form factor is a Phoenix, uh, Phoenix E16 here, just for reference. So this is a CR123 light as well with S1. You can see the size difference though there. And let's bring in the SR1 Baton 2. Here we go. So it's, it's a hair bit bigger than the one, I believe. Get them side by side. Yeah, it's a little taller. Uh, I don't know why they added the height to it right off. Uh, as you can see, the E16 here, man, it's so short. Uh, and it's not a bad light. Uh, maybe one day I do a more of a review on it. I will say the thing I do like about all three of these lights as you can see them attaching that's my one of my favorite features is the magnet uh, now supposedly the magnet on this one's a little stronger than the previous one and you can charge it there so traditionally I don't like rechargeable lights that you recharge in the flashlight itself uh, more of a personal preference thing because I have a nice charger and it ain't a big deal to pop them out you do get a convenience factor, definitely, for having that in there. Uh, still, I don't know if that's my favorite, but here it is. Now, it does come with a rechargeable battery in this one. Uh, and, of course, you know, the rechargeable, the non-rechargeable, of course, is a CR123. And the rechargeable is the IMR16340. Uh, so just kind of the general specs on the back of this light is it supposedly can do turbo of a thousand lumens for a very short duration uh, before it powers down. Um, it does get hot quick. Uh, the, actually, the only reason I bought the two is I thought I had lost the one again. And I went online... Uh, the two was, wasn't that much more than the one, so I went ahead and purchased the two. And, of course, as soon as I did and got a tracking number, uh, I found the one. 
but being a flashlight person, I was like, well, we'll just keep it, see how it goes. Now, I will say, uh, one of the things I do notice, this one, the one is very, you click it, look, I click it off, it goes off. The two, you click it, it comes on. When I click it, it might be hard to tell in that video, but again, you click it, when I'm going off, look at that delay. Maybe, maybe I'm crazy, but I see a delay there. So we got both lights on. The one is here, closer to the camera. The two is far away. I'm going to try to click them at the same time. And as you can see there, the two is a delay. Uh, not a huge fan of that. Because uh, if you want the light to be off for whatever reason, and you're trying to be a little more stealthy and you want the light to turn off, uh, you're going to have to probably instead of turn off, cover it up with your thumb or something because the delay of whatever circuit is in here uh, does take, I'm just going to guess here, twice as long as the one. Uh, let's see, the Phoenix. The Phoenix, you got to hold it to try to turn it off. And I might try to EDC this one again. It has an interesting front on all these. They're not just a regular orange pill reflector or anything. So, I don't know what, uh, do y'all carry 18650 or a CR123 light as EDC or maybe a AAA light? I don't know, but I'd like to hear from you in the comments what you're carrying. Uh, obviously, I don't have every flashlight there is so many makes and models and I only have a limited flashlight budget so these are my currently my three uh, CR123 EDC lights and I'll probably end up rotating them I like to rotate to kind of be able to do better reviews on them, things of that nature um, I will say on the thousand lumen mode just by looking it seems relatively close to that however it does get hot pretty quick, uh, so just be aware of that. You, if it accidentally did turn on in your pocket, you would know it pretty quick because it would be warming up your leg quite well. Uh, so yeah, just for reference there, right there. But that is just a quick tabletop review of the Baton 2. Uh, if you're thinking about getting it and you have a one, uh, would I necessarily upgrade for a two? I, I do like the knurling. It's quite more aggressive on the two. Uh, but being a little extra in length, uh, not a big fan of that. And the circuit being slow. However, I will say it did come with a rechargeable battery. And the clip, if you notice, the clip is a little different. And one main advantage of this clip is, uh, I don't know if y'all are like me, but a lot of you might be uh, carrying a cap on you a lot of times. Uh, so, let's put these on here for your reference. They both will clip to your cap, so if you uh, break down and you have a cap on, you can use this as a makeshift headlamp. However, what I do like about the two, try not to rip my cap up while I do this, what I do like about the two is the clip also goes this way. So it offers a pretty deep carry pocket clip solution for if you want to pocket carry that in the clip. Uh, now what I do miss in these lots, let me look in here to verify without ripping the box maybe. Boxes can be stubborn, and it's going to be stubborn, it looks like. Uh, this one came with a lanyard, but I don't believe anymore that they come with the belt pouch. Let's make sure before I tell you that wrong. No, I really miss that too. All the old uh, CR123 lights used to come with a belt pouch, so you could, uh, if you wear a belt every day, you can EDC it on your belt. Uh, looks like they only offer it now in the in the 
pocket clips on either one of these. Or maybe M3. I don't I don't think they're including pouches anymore, so I'm gonna have to find one of them because that's uh my preference on EDC. Uh, so guys yet again just tell me what you're using for EDC clip um uh, clip lot as I call these because they don't have the cloth pouch anymore. Uh, is there another one I'm missing? Uh, what do you like? What don't you like? I really like the tint of the E16 and the form factor. Um, that is a cool lot too. So we might do a, another tabletop that's a little more in depth on that. But this is just a, a quick, you know, I'm not going to read all the technical specs to you. Something, I mean, there's tons of channels or you can go look it up. On their website for all the technical specs, I just hit the highlights here. But uh, I appreciate you tuning in to the Robin Hood Gear Channel, and I hope you have a great day.